Hello and welcome back to another game review. My name is Mills Cat from the MC of All Crew, and today we're going to be reviewing Shell Shock Live. So let's just get right into it. Shell Shock Live is a strategic online multiplayer artillery game, as it is categorized on their very website. And if you have no idea what it means to be an artillery game, basically it just means that you are a tank and then you are just destroying other people's tanks in the form of death matches. And that is actually the main goal of this game, just to destroy other people's tanks. You may do this in multiplayer, against your friends, or even in the single player campaign against AI bots. In this game, you can actually customize a lot of different things, including your very own personal tank. You may personalize it in two different ways. You may personalize your upgrades of your tank's build, or you may actually change the appearance of the build, which we'll be talking about the appearance right now. You may customize the very top of your tank, also known as the chassis, to a more fitting style. Or you may actually change the barrel, or you know, it's just called the gun, to a different style as well. Or you may change the track, is what it's called, or the bottom of the tank, which actually moves. You can personalize that if you actually unlock any of them. Now the next thing that we're going to talk about is upgrading your tank. Now there's many different ways you can upgrade your tank, such as, you know, the weapons that you use, but we're going to talk about upgrading the build of the tank. Now with upgrading the build, you may upgrade their track level, which basically means they're able to move a lot quicker, because if you play the game, you're only able to use about, I don't even know, like 5 seconds, I think, or 10 seconds to move around until you have to shoot. But with upgrading your track level, that means that you're able to move a lot more efficiently when you have to, while saving a lot of time. Next thing, you may actually upgrade your gun level, which basically means that when you shoot and you hit somebody, you have a higher chance of actually getting a critical hit and killing them a lot faster. That is if you hit them, which I mean it's pretty useful if you want to kill somebody a lot faster with a, a less damaging weapon. Now you may also upgrade your chassis level, which basically means that at the start of the game you'll have more armor as you upgrade, because if you don't upgrade that, then you're probably not going to have any armor, and if you face somebody that's a higher level than you on multiplayer, then you're probably going to get completely decimated by your enemies. So if you do that, then it will probably save you a lot of emotional distress and probably even physical distress depending on the type of person that you are. And the last upgrade that you may do is the luck level, which basically means that you have a higher chance of upgrading weapons a lot faster, and it's kind of useful. I mean, personally, I wouldn't necessarily focus more on the luck level rather than doing the chassis against people that are higher level than you, of course. But that's my opinion. Opinion because upgrading weapons and stuff like that that's cool and everything but you know we'll get into that here in a couple seconds actually and to be fair there are so many weapons that you're able to use but of course a lot of them and what I mean by a lot of them I mean about 95% of them you have to actually level up and get them that way and of course not to mention the upgraded weapons that you're able to use from the weapons that you already have I'm not gonna name off a lot of them I am just gonna name off a few of them that you basically start off with one of them being the shot which is actually one of the most basic weapons of the entire game now with the shot you actually have to be precise and if you have no idea from you know the gameplay or whatnot you have to use an aiming system which is kind of the most difficult part about it and it pretty much is the entirety of the game where you have to pretty much guess the distance well not guess but you have to tell by the distance between you and your enemy how far you have to aim at them another one being an airstrike which is a little bit more complex than the shot it's kind of like the shot where you know that you must be the most precise possible because because you shoot off a target and then if it gets really close to them then it'll actually send off three shots coming from the sky that will pretty much be like a grenade explosion on them three times if you get it like very precise but speaking of weapons there are so many weapons in this game it's hard to talk about every single one of them but a lot of them are unique a lot of them are overpowered in my opinion because some of them literally take away so much damage even if you like don't even hit them or even go near to hitting them at all. And then you have the banana shots, which is one of the weird ones where you pretty much just shoot a banana in the air and you have to pray to God that you're gonna be able to hit him with a banana because it just flings out of the peel and goes somewhere like it has its, like its mind of its own. But that's enough about the weapons. You pretty much have to play it for yourself. I like most of the weapons. Some of them are overpowered and I don't very much like half of them. Some of them are really, really useless and I guess that just makes it all balanced, but I'm not too sure. You guys need to play it for yourself though.
Now outside the whole multiplayer scene is the single player scene where you go into the campaign. And in this campaign you go through first the tutorial and then you start going through these obstacles and that's pretty much the entirety of the campaign. You pretty much go through the obstacles, you have to play on certain maps, go against AI bots. And there are a lot of missions and they get very difficult after a while and you have to pretty much guess sometimes, you have to go through it and play it multiple different times and it gets kind of annoying but it also gets easier as you play it more often. But it's also pretty much like an XP farm if you actually go through the campaign and keep doing mission after mission after mission and keep completing after a while because it's just flooding you with XP, flooding you with different types of upgrades, different types of everything actually. All different types of XP, all different, different types of, you know, weapon upgrades, different types of weapons, everything else. You level up all the time, you know, every, everything pretty much. And these missions are separated into sections. I think there's like, okay, there's more than two sections of like 11 maybe of missions i don't know i really am not gonna look that up only joking but there's so many sections there's so many missions it's pretty long of a campaign to be honest with you is it a bad campaign no there's not much of a storyline actually there is no storyline whatsoever to the campaign but i think personally it's very fun of a campaign i recommend it it's very rage inducing or at least to me it was because of how much i had to keep doing it but it may be a different experience for you Now, I've already talked about the gist of the multiplayer, you know, you pretty much just go around destroying your enemies, tanks, no matter if you're just joining a random person's game or if you're in your friend's lobby or whatnot. But I am going to be talking about other things that we haven't discussed, like the game modes and all that stuff. So one of the game modes, and it's probably the most popular game mode that I've ever done, is Deathmatch. Deathmatch is also one of the most simple game modes out there because you pretty much just kill your enemy tanks with the weapons that you are given based off of whatever you have unlocked. But there are also some more game modes out there that give off a little bit more of a variety when you're playing like juggernauts where pretty much you spawn in and depending on how many people are in your game one will randomly be chosen to be a juggernaut which has a lot more armor and a lot more health than pretty much anybody else that's in that lobby and everybody's on one team except for the juggernauts and it's just that team versus the juggernauts so the team has to take down the juggernaut before the juggernaut takes down the team and that's pretty much the game mode of juggernaut another game mode is assassin where pretty much every single person person has their own target. And what I mean by that, let's just say that there are four people in a lobby, okay? One person will have their own target and no one else will have that same target. And that goes for every single person that's in the game. So no one will have the same target as another person. And also, let's just say that Susie is fighting Jimmy, okay? Only Susie will have a target on Jimmy. No one else could have a target on Jimmy, okay? And anybody else could have a target on Susie, but if one person has a target on Susie, then no one else could have a target on Susie. You see what I mean now? So that is basically the gist of assassin and there's also marksman where pretty much every single person has to shoot their own target and if you miss a target then your entire tank explodes and you're out of the game so it's basically like roulette but instead you have to shoot at a target that's randomly generated in the sky or some stupid whatever and then there's points which is a game mode i've never actually played myself but according to some videos here is, is what it is basically you're split up into two teams like regardless of how many people are in your game and you have two turns for each team and then every single time that a team has a turn if they do any damage to the other team it will be counted towards their points at the top left or top right corner of the screen and by the end of the game the team with the most damage dealt to the other team wins the entirety of the game and those are all the game modes that are out there for right now at least now at this point of the game review i give my opinion on the game and to be honest with you this is a very good game to play with your friends and all that stuff the campaign could get old after a while that's why i encourage you to play with your friends and that's pretty much my only issue of the entirety of the game is just that it gets kind of old after a while you get kind of bored of it but you know the next day you might want to play it again that's why i say you know play with your friends because it never really gets old if you do that if you do it that way but i mean what type of video game never gets old after watching or playing it sorry i just think it's a fun little game that you can play with your friends and you know just have like a little chill casual gaming session you know and my favorite aspect of the game is the multiplayer because i just like the all the game modes um one of the game modes i necessarily do not like because of the way it's set up is assassin but it's actually probably the only thing that's wrong with the game in my opinion and i really do recommend this game for you and your friends maybe if you really want to do the campaign i think it's kind of fun like i said it gets old after a while and repetitive well not no 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 no. okay not repetitive but just you know it gets kind of boring after a while i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you have then please tell me because i will be making more videos like this in the future on different games 
And if you have any recommendations of what games that you want us to play, then please give off the recommendations on any one of our videos. We read all comments, we respond to all comments, and we will get right to it. So, thank you guys for watching, and see you next time. And I almost forgot to rate the game like I always do. I rate this game 7.5 out of 10. It is very recommended. Now that is actually the end of the video. See you guys later.